morning everyone got a beautiful day out here at the field out here by myself this morning but I'm gonna do some flights with the f-16 bring you guys on the flights with me it's the free wing 90 millimeter v2 f-16 probably my favorite FPV plane that I have right now currently flying just clean the canopy uh, usually before each flight I'll spray the canopy with some rain -X and uh, get it super clean that way I have some good video for the flights everything's looking good I did kind of a checklist checked all the linkages and things like that to make sure everything was nice and tight uh, I've got probably 55 flights on this plane so far uh, we're gonna put a bunch more in today got everything set up here batteries are charging transmitters ready uh, a few more minutes and everything will be good to go we got a really calm day out here this is a summer morning here in Louisiana almost zero wind uh, humidity is a little bit high and it's gonna get hot here very soon but hopefully I can get a bunch of flights in before the heat really starts to set in All right. Disarmed. Armed. We go. We got a little bit of a change in uh, wind direction. Uh, it's now blowing out of the south, so we're going to be taking off right to left. So I have a pretty long taxi to get to the other end of the runway uh, and turn around. But that's just the nature of things sometimes. While we're taxiing, I'll just go ahead and do my uh, control surface check. So we check right aileron, elevator, looks good. Left aileron, elevator, looks good. Everything with the gimbal is working fantastic. Avionics screen change. Avionics screen change. Those are changing the... Uh, PFD. Avionics screen change. Avionics screen change. Beautiful day. Not a lot of wind. Very clear. Clear skies. Alright. Taxi on to the middle of the runway. And get her lined up. Horizon. Manual. Horizon. Acro. Alright. Here we go. Little shimmy, gear up. And we'll fly on here to the back of the field. Altitude, altitude. We'll do a split S in between these trees. Altitude, altitude, pull up. One minute. One up, Sensor split S. Stall. All right. And then we'll fly towards the water here. Around the tree line and do 180 right here. Pulling 2.3 G's all by roll. Altitude, altitude, pull up. Altitude, altitude, pull up. GPS is a little off here. Giving me altitude warnings, and I was clearly. Not at 70 feet or 7 feet. Altitude, altitude, pull up. Right over the runway. Aileron roll. Altitude. 2.5 G's. Two minutes. Little inverted flight. Might have been climbing a little bit on that. I'm gonna fly back here over this pond.
a little bit of turbulent air as we come down through there. Altitude, altitude, pull up. Altitude, altitude, pull up. Altitude, altitude, Do a pull up. point roll. Three One, two, three, altitude, four. Altitude, pull up. Three G's on that turn, 3.3. Battery sag a little bit. Altitude, altitude, pull up. All right, we're gonna make a little circuit right here. Just kind of look around. And then we'll prepare for our landing. We're about at 3,500 milliamps drawn. I usually don't like to push it past four. You can see that huge lake in the Four distance. Minutes. All right. Let's go ahead and drop gear the gear. Down. We're going to go mid air brakes. Runway check looks good. Okay. Air brakes full. Air brakes full. Air brakes medium. Air brakes full. All right, slow it down. Altitude, altitude, pull up. Oh, a little bit of scrape on the back. But we're okay. Sometimes on those landings I can scrape those dorsal fins. Just enough air brake to slow down. I came in a little off on that landing, but it wasn't a great landing, but it definitely wasn't the worst. And now that I think about it, <laughs> I landed the wrong direction. I landed downwind. So that could have been some of the reason. Just habit sometime. So we landed that flight with about 4,000 milliamps drawn uh, right on target. I don't know what the exact flight time was. I would imagine probably about four minutes from takeoff to landing. I do wish that this jet had a little bit more power and a little bit better efficiency uh, with the battery usage. Be great to fly, you know, six to seven minutes and be able to really bang on the throttle. But something I don't think you're going to get from an EDF jet of this sort. All right, guys, thanks for coming with me on this flight. All right, so we had a couple of good flights so far. Uh, still gonna get some more flights. I just looked at my flight log. I actually have 60, I'm sorry, 59 flights on this plane. Um, so I probably hit over 60 today. And the flights, some of you guys might have been hearing it call out things like low altitude uh, stall warnings uh, when it was uh, low to the ground or approaching a stall. Uh, those things are set up with the FR Sky uh, transmitter using um, logic switches uh, or logic conditions and the way it works is I'm just pulling telemetry uh, from the iNav system into the transmitter uh, and then when with that telemetry I can go set up a logic switch or a logic condition and that logic condition can be something like for example with the low altitude warning uh, I'll use uh, two conditions meaning that my speed uh, GPS ground speed is over let's say uh, 40 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour and my altitude is less than 35 feet when both of those conditions are met it'll do a call out uh, for low altitude and for stall it's very similar as well uh, I do a GPS uh, speed of less than uh, 35 miles an hour or 40 miles an hour or something like that and um, altitude above uh, let's say um, you know 25 feet or so and whenever those conditions are met, the radio will do a call out to let me know. So it's kind of a cool feature. It doesn't work perfectly because of the GPS sensor 
uh, sometimes reading altitude a little off of what it actually is. Um, if that worked a little bit more precisely, uh, we would have a lot less um, call outs under the wrong conditions. But for the most part, it's a pretty cool feature and it does work. Um, I would say probably at about 70% as good as it should. But for now, that's what I have to work with. Um, but yeah, we've been having some great flights today. Um, F-16 is flying great. Uh, landings are have been pretty good. Still trying to get those wheelie up landings, but I don't know if it's due to CG or just due to our runway being extremely bumpy. Uh, it's just kind of hard to get it. Even when I have it smooth, it's like it hits a bump and it kind of want makes it the nose want to come down. So um, I don't know. I've had a few, but there I've the ones that I do have they're never really recorded. Um, but I haven't had any like really great ones. But hey, it's all all fun. Uh, we just. Keep practicing and keep getting better.